Hello, everyone. Happy New Year's Eve to you all. Let's hope we have a uh, great mini marathon of a stream here. We'll be on for about uh, six to seven hours here. Shouldn't be uh, too much to really uh, look forward to and everything, but uh, but otherwise, I think we'll end the year off with uh, quite a bit of fun here. We're going to start off with uh, Name That Game Tune, since uh, I haven't done it as much, and I'm still going to be... Um, doing it on the fifth Friday of the month in 2023 and if you saw in that update video it's gonna be on just four different occasions next year so that's gonna be uh, something to look forward to as well <clears throat> we'll be uh, after after we get done with this name that game tune uh, session here I have decided that the winner of this one will get to pick the uh, first uh, Jackbox game to be played so we'll kind of play for that as well as trying to win yourself uh, $10 eShop credit for that kind of thing here. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, first playlist going. <laughs> I actually was going to use this one first in case uh, this person would show up a bit late. So I'll go ahead and just do it anyway for to lead off. <laughs> OBS is really sensitive. Anna's playlist will be going first. And the reason why I was going to lead off with hers was because she told me uh, just yesterday that she thought she was going to be somewhat late to the start of this stream. <laughs> but uh, it turns out it uh, looks like uh, she made it just in time for it. <clears throat> but for those that may be sort of new to name that game tune... I just want to remind you, all you have to do is just type in what particular game this song I'm about to play is from. I kind of need the... <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know why my throat is being like this. <clears throat> I need. I sort of need the uh, game in full. I don't want abbreviated answers like you see in the uh, screen right there. The OOT stands for Ocarina of Time. I don't want it as OOT. Um, the other thing is... Make sure you get your answer within five seconds of the first person to already get it. Because if I see your answer of it more than five seconds after the first, I have to assume that you copied off of that first person. So just uh, just kind of take my word for it on that part right there. Yes, Penguin, I'm just fine. I just uh, haven't had much of a chance to uh, speak today, if you know what I mean. But otherwise, I think we're just about ready to go to start off this uh, New Year's Eve. Best of luck to you all.
Alrighty, got past that first round. I'll tell you this, guys. You may have noticed quite a bit of a delay when I was trying to get a song started. That was because I have a Bluetooth keyboard now. And for some crazy reason, I couldn't get uh, my message of song number one or number two in the typed out and everything. But uh, thankfully, it kind of uh, um, thankfully it kind of fixed itself along the way. It might come back at some point, but uh, I I don't know. But uh, if if you if you see a, quite a bit of a delay when it comes to trying to get the song played and me trying to message you guys on that, understand it may be because of my uh, uh, finicky keyboard. <laughs> but it hasn't been this way as much. It really hasn't. But anyways, let's go over all these songs. By the way, four of them were guessed correctly. Number one was. Hail to the King, the uh, final results theme from Mario Party 7. The order who got it was Plush, Penguin, and Kirby. Uh, number two is the New Year's Eve Midnight Music from Animal Crossing New Horizons. Points for that go to Toad 8. Number three is the Space Brawl Space Race and Lucky Launch minigame from Wii Party. Points go to Penguin, Toad 8, and Cage. The fourth one nobody got is um, All Nations from Tetris Effect. I can tell that one was going to be uh, a tough one. <laughs> and number five is the Myriad of Light from Genshin Impact. Points go to Penguin. knew I had to put a hard song. Yeah, you really did have to put a hard song. And it's hard to believe everyone thought the last one was uh, Celeste. <laughs> nobody played Genshin. <laughs> you sure nobody? I'm pretty sure Anna has quite a bit. <laughs> I'll just say that. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll give uh, Anna the 8 points for 4 out of 5 songs guessed correctly. Plush is going to get uh, three points. Three. Penguin is going to get... Uh, uh, two plus uh, three more is five, and three more is eight. So they're already in a first place tie. We have uh, Kirby on the board with one point. We have Toad 8 on the board with uh, five points. Cage on the board with one. And that should be it. Yes. Okay. There we go. First points of the uh, stream go to these six players. Let's see how many more can be scored as we move along. Okay, close out Anna's playlist, and up next is... All right. Theme with fireworks. Yeah, that that was Anna's theme. She, uh, all those songs had to do with fireworks. Okay, up next after Anna is Mario Man. His playlist is next. I'll bet some of these songs don't appear to be that tough, so maybe you guys will do just fine with all this. Oh no. <laughs> A bunch of you are um, pretty skeptical about all this, I guess. Well, let's go ahead and get it started.
Congratulations, you just fulfilled Mario Man's wishes. Every single song was not guessed correctly, <laughs> so no leaderboard changes to make. <laughs> he definitely made the impossible playlist of the, uh, of the century, I take it. <laughs> Is he even in the chat to, uh, witness this glorious moment of his? <laughs> That's what I would really like to know. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and review all these. Number six, it's good to see a Sonic from Sonic Forces. I'll bet uh, a lot of you uh, forgot about that kind of game. <laughs> Nobody played Sonic Forces. Nobody played Forces. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can at the end. Okay, number seven, a bunch of you are going to beat yourselves over this. <laughs> Let me see what some of your answers were on it first. Um, some of you said uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, WarioWare, uh, just Donkey Kong, yeah, a bunch of Donkey Kong on there, but you know what? There is sort of a Donkey Kong, Kai t Donkey Kong tie to it, but uh, the one it was, it's Pauline's theme from Mario Strikers Battle League. That, that's what that wacky sound was for number seven. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> I know. I haven't really, I haven't really picked up a uh, Battle League anyway because it does. Uh, it really looks bare bones. <laughs> It does kind of make me worry that um, if they're going to announce the next uh, Mario Sports game as baseball, that it could be as bare bones as Strikers Battle League. But um, but like I said uh, a few times already, I've got enough faith in Bandai Namco that they won't make a, a new Mario Baseball iteration as bare bones as that. I mean, they're way too good of a company to do something like that. Anyways, uh, number eight, I bet some of you are sort of close on this one, but just not, not quite it. Um, it. The song is called Haven Troopers, and the game it's from is Metal Gear Solid 4. I saw a bunch of you just say, like, the first three, but n nobody could say number four. No, dang it. Yeah, Nate, I saw you were that close to it, but you already used up two guesses. If I if I would have been able to remove that rule of uh, more than two guesses, I'd probably let you get it, but uh, I can't do it that way. <laughs> Anyways, uh, number nine, I knew nobody would get this, so I crossed my arms on it. It's the Overlord theme from Warhammer 40,000 Mechanus. Or Mechanicus. I think that's how it's pronounced. Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus. <laughs> yeah. I typed it out in the chat so that you could see it. <laughs> Probably some game from Steam. Yeah, it probably is. 
I don't know how he came up. I think Mario Man Googled obscure games nobody plays and picked random songs. Yeah, that's what he kind of does for his uh, uh, playlists. Th that's pretty much it. Number five. I think a bunch of you are going to be yourselves on this one. It is the airship theme edit from... It's the edit of airship theme from Super Mario Maker. Now, it says this one is for the... Mario Maker for 3DS, but I don't know if it also applies to the Wii U version, but uh, that's what that was. Basically, when you're editing an airship level, that's the theme song that plays. It was also Wii U, yeah, they saved the same theme. Okay, I figured it would be. Because cause he sent me the uh, theme of it for the 3DS version. Because <laughs> I don't know if... Uh... I knew it was Mario Maker. <laughs> say, did Jeremy say anything then if, it, uh, if he knew it was Mario Maker? Nah, he said nothing. <laughs> no, I'm not playing. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, at least I don't have to edit the leaderboard, so that saves some time. Let's move on to the next playlist. Keyboard is acting up again. Okay, there we go. Kirby Gamer is the uh, next uh, person to have a playlist shown off here. So let's go ahead and get this one already. Oh, K. Rule is here. K rule, did you get my Discord message? Don't don't mention what it is in the chat though, but read that Discord message I sent to you. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, Kirby's playlist uh, going.
Okay, done with round three. Only one thong was guessed correctly out of all of you, so I'll go ahead and let uh, Kirby roast you all, I guess, for number 11. <laughs> Instead of Joey Drew Studios, you should be turned into yarn and be used to make an ugly Christmas sweater. Uh, I guess that was, uh, <laughs> I guess that was a good way to put it. <laughs> but yeah, number 11 was King DDD theme from Kirby's Epic Yarn. A bunch of you just put in the wrong Kirby game for that one. <laughs> You put in all the Kirby games except for Epic Yarn. That's pretty much what you all did there. Number 12 is the Chill Penguin music from Mega Man X. Points go to Cage, King K. Rule, and Anna. Wait. Toadie says, that was the only game I 100%ed. How did I not get that? Uh, that... I guess uh, it was a, a theme that wasn't catchy to you, I guess. I mean, uh, there's, there's, there's a few games I've 100%ed, but some themes in it just uh, are not that catchy to me. They really aren't. Okay, the last three, all of you did not get these. Number 13 is Route 10 from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Number 14 is... Ship Shape Aquarium from Dual Destinies, a game that has for its cover art, uh, Phoenix Wright. That's what it is. No, it was from Crown Tundra. Mm -hmm. Yep. And number 15 is uh, Japanese Sword from Prinny 1 and 2. Pretty sure some of you have heard of the Prinny games, the one with that penguin on it. <laughs> That's what it's from. How can you call yourself King Penguin if you don't know your subordinates? Oh, Kirby. Now you're really roasting. <laughs> penguin Gamer on that one. You're really doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's basically what it is. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, you can't be out of here when you're in a first place tie. You just can't. <laughs> well, let's go over these. All right, Kirby is going to get uh, just two more points and go up to three for one song guessed correctly. Okay, Cage is going to get three more points and go up to four. K. Rule is on the board with two points. Let's see. Anna gets one more point and goes up to nine. And that should be it. After that round. Let's move on to uh, the fourth playlist. Guest Icons playlist is next. Yes, K. Rule, I got your message, and thank you for doing that. I will have to refresh the, the page it's on, but uh, and, your, and your playlist will still be used uh, very last anyway.
Although, maybe I should look really, really fast just to make sure uh, nothing comes up with it. In which uh, a song is already used by somebody upcoming, though. So, I, I do want to check that really quick. Make sure he doesn't have a duplicate of somebody else's. Um, doesn't look like it. Nope, your song is good. So let me at least get the first song of that playlist opened up. You might hear an ad, because I don't know if I hit the... Because I don't know if the mute button I hit on some other window is going to apply to this. So if you hear an ad, that's not my doing. Otherwise, I think we'll go ahead and proceed to the uh, next person's playlist. Yeah, which is guest icon. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and get this uh, round <laughs> started. Do you want to write concisely? Maybe Grammarly could help. <laughs> I know. And you know, I don't know why, guys, but I get Grammarly ads when I'm on the desktop version of uh, YouTube here. When I'm on uh, mobile, that kind of ad never shows up. Mainly it's just an ad for um, a mobile game, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, get the playlist started now.
Okay. That last one is a bit of a question mark on that one. For the moment, I am going to say two songs were guessed correctly, if not three. Number 16 is Hideout Helm from Donkey Kong 64. The points go to Plush and Anna. Sorry, Cage, you were just after the five-second uh, cutoff, so I can't take your uh, response on that one. Number 17 is Title Music Party Time from Bloom's Tower Defense 6, which I assume is a PC or a mobile game from the way it looks. It's a mobile game? I figured it would be. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, number 18 is the Terra theme from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The points go to Kirby for that one. Some of you may say that was a Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Solid theme right there, but that was the Smash Bros. remix of it. So that was the, the actual correct answer to it. Number 19 is Horror Rain from... Tekken 3. Nobody got that one. Alright, number 20. I'm going to need a judgment call from Anna on this one. The song is called Divine Dragon Legend, and the game it's from is called Fire Emblem Mystery of the Emblem. I'm wondering if her first answer of just Fire Emblem is acceptable on this one. I mean, she knows the franchise way more than me, so... If uh, if Mystery of the Emblem is, sa is the same as just um, standard Fire Emblem, I will accept it. But uh, she's saying, sadly, it's not. And the, and the other reason I felt like she would come up with this is because she plays Fire Emblem Heroes quite a lot. <laughs> that mobile game. And I thought... Uh, that particular theme could also be used in Heroes. But uh, if she's going to say no on that, then uh, we're not going to take it then, I guess. So that leaves only two correct answers. Mystery of the Emblem is remake of another game. I put in Discord what it is. Alrighty. Kind of surprised somebody knew that despite it's a Japan exclusive. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alrighty, so two songs are guessed correctly, so Guest Icon is going to get just uh, four points out of this. Plush is going to get uh, three more points and go up to six. Anna is going to get two more points and go up to eleven. And Kirby is going to get uh, three more points and go up to six. Put it in the chat. Alrighty. I'll have a uh, quick look at it before we uh, proceed to the next playlist. I kind of want to see... Uh, Yeah, she's showing me uh, two copies of it. One Japanese and the Shadow Dragon game. Both on the, the DS. But at least uh, thanks for that. I think, uh, okay, I think we're ready to go now.
Mystery of Emblem is Japan exclusive. The only way to play is emulation. Big Clink did an LP a long time ago. I see. Let's move on to the next playlist. This time it's Nintendo Fan 27's turn to play. And here we go, and then we'll be halfway done. My apologies for not uh, updating the leaderboard on the stream here. I only uh, had it on the notepad. I forgot to copy and paste it over. Thanks for telling me that. <laughs> Unfortunately, Plush's message came just as I started the uh, song. But there we go. Back to action.
Alrighty, that was a pretty fun and exciting round. Let's see. Three out of five songs were guessed correctly, so... Uh, what's his name? Nintendo fan is going to get uh, six points for that one. Let's go over these. Number 21 is Sinister Sundown from Kingdom Hearts 2. The points go to Plush and Kirby. Number 22 is Corsair's Cove from Pac-Man World, the PS1 version. King K. Rule gets the points for that one. Number 23, the one that you guys were jamming to. It's the main theme song of the world's hardest game. Remember that kind of Flash game? The world's hardest game? <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Knew it sounded familiar. <laughs> I can't even be mad. That's brilliant. <laughs> Nobody has the mindset to play the world's hardest game. <laughs> yep. Seeing a bunch of you acting all salty about it, that's that's really satisfying. Number 24 is the Tetris Type A remix theme from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The points go to Cage. Number 25, none of you got this one. It's the Shotgun Kiss Casino Palace theme from F-Zero GX. Is that really the name of the game? Yet, yeah, th th that's the thing. That, and it's a Flash game. That's pretty much why I, I said... Because it is a Flash game. Dang, missed that one. Nobody played F-Zero. <laughs> because F-Zero has been dead since the GameCube era. <laughs> that's pretty much why. Who played F-Zero Generation X? Uh, not me. I can say that much. But... Let's get the leaderboard updated and copied over. Anna stays at 11. Penguin stays at 8. Plush is going to get uh, 3 more points and go up to 9. He'll move up into 2nd place. Kirby is going to get uh, uh, 2 more points and go up to 8. Toad 8 is still at 5. Cage is going to get three more and go up to seven. Guest icon stays at four. King K. Rule will get uh, three more and go up to five. And then I got to put uh, Nintendo Fan on the board with six. Still holding up, but definitely need to step it up for sure. You guys are doing great. <laughs> they sure are. Okay. Alrighty, I think this next person came up with uh, a playlist that says, um, Cringy as Mario Man's. Let's see. Plush is next. Let's see if his playlist is just as cringy as, um, Mario Man's is. <laughs> Dies from cringe. <laughs> he done did it now. <laughs> Okay, let's get uh, this next round underway.
Mario Party in your dream stars, Jeremy. Well, was I right? Was uh, Plush's playlist as cringy as Mario Man's? Am I right? No. Somewhat. 50-50. <laughs> nah, Plush's was actually good. Alrighty. You had your say on that. Alrighty, let's go over these. Number 26, Battle with Mr. Blizzard from Mario Party Island Tour. Points go to Toad Aid and Kirby. Number 27 is Peaceful Snow from Mario Party 10. Anna gets the points for that one. Number 28, Rolling About from Mario Party Superstars. Anna and Toad 8 get the points for that one. Number 29 is Chili Waters for Mario Party 3. The points go to Penguin, Anna, and Kirby. I'm going to say this about the song Chili Waters. Two other people tried to use that in their playlist, but I told them they had to switch it out. <laughs> Those two are um, Penguin and King K. Rule. I told them they had to switch it out because Plush beat them to using that particular song. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I could tell this would really happen. <laughs> so I had to, uh, you know, <laughs> remind them of that. <laughs> and number 30 is uh, a snowy night from Mario Party 6. The points go to Toad 8, Anna, and Kirby. So we got quite a lot of uh, points to add up here. Let's see uh, how, how it's going to all shake out here. I thought I got first. Well, unfortunately, Anna, Toad 8 showed up first on my end. I... Right, even Toad 8 says on my screen I was first. Yeah, remember, Anna, there's always going to be that discrepancy about um, whose name came up first. Even though it may have came up first on yours, my end of it is what counts. All right, let's go over these. Anna will get uh, three, six... 10 more points go up to 21. Plush will get uh, 10 more points for all five songs guessed correctly, so it goes up to 19. Penguin will get just three more points and go up to 11. Kirby is going to get uh, two. Plus one is three. Plus one more is four more, so up to 12. K 
cage will stay at seven. Uh, Nintendo fan stays at six. King K rule stays at five. Toad eight is gonna get quite a point jump here. Uh, three, five more plus uh, three more is eight. So Toad eight goes up to thirteen. Guest icon stays at four. I don't think there's any new name. Nope. No new name. We've got uh, 20 songs to go. And it's still practically anyone's game at this point. Whose playlist is next? Okay, for this first song, I think it's going to be tough to uh, make a call on if a certain version of uh, this ver of this game needs to be put out. But otherwise, maybe it might apply just to uh, I don't know. I just I just want to give a heads up on the very first song of this uh, playlist here because it may depend on um, a version. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> Didn't mean to put three names in there. <laughs> yep, Penguin's playlist is next. <laughs> yeah, I thought I highlighted Plush's name. Uh, uh. <laughs> Please take a moment to check out uh, Plush King Penguin question mark at error internal server <laughs> error. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Let's keep Penguin. <laughs> Channel not found. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Good call, Nightbot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's not waste any more time and get this round underway.
Okay, not a bad round there. There was uh, one stumper on there. That definitely got the best of you. But let's go over all these. Uh, number 31 is the Ice Board from Monopoly. The thumbnail for it shows the Wii version of it. So I don't know if it would have applied to um, other console versions of it. But it, it just says Monopoly. <laughs> And you know, there's been several different versions of Monopoly released on, um, like, all the consoles and even PC. So that's kind of why I uh, felt like I had to uh, get a uh, explanation, or rather, get a uh, ver console version of it. But, but thankfully, nobody got it, so I don't have to uh, try to sort that out. <laughs> but yeah, Monopoly. Uh, let's see. Number 32. It is Snow Point City Daytime from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. The points go to Cage and Kirby. Number 33. None of you got this one. It's the Action and Answer Tour Game Version 2 from Mario and Sonic at the Sochi Olympic Winter Games. I'm thinking a bunch of you haven't really played the Sochi version of uh, that one. Yeah, 2014. Yep, that that one. Talk about a miss. <laughs> plush. 33 was Billy Hatcher. <laughs> oh, Penguin, you better roast plush on that one. <laughs> I was so confident, too. Yeah. Okay, number 34. This one looked easy. It's the ice hockey theme from Mario and Sonic at the first Olympic Winter Games on Wii. The points for that go to Cage and Toad 8. And number 35. I'll tell you this, Plush. Or no, Penguin. You probably should have linked to be the original version on this one instead of the ultimate one because you got to you got to use the one in which it was used first so that uh, I know which one is correct but I kind of figured it would be uh this one and this 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 older version anyway it's the snowman theme from Super Smash Bros Brawl Cage Anna and Plush got it Yeah, when I when I heard the song, I'm like, wait a second, this sounds like it's from Brawl. I'm I'm very very sure this song came way way before Ultimate came out. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it is. But yeah, pe but yeah, Penguin. That, that that's kind of the theme with Smash Brothers songs. Make sure you use the one in which it it had its first appearance in a game, not uh, later ones. Anyways, I'm now going to get the points counted. Penguin will get uh, six more points for that many songs guessed correctly. So he goes up to 17. Anna will go up to 23. Plush will go up to 20. Let's see, uh, Toad 8 will get uh, two more points, go up to 15. Kirby is getting uh, two more points and goes up to 14. Uh, Cage will get uh, nine more points and go up to 16. He was first on all three of those correct songs. Otherwise, everyone else is all accounted for. We haven't used the tie song. 
Yeah, I'm very sure we haven't either. Also, thanks for the follow, Roosevelt. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to next playlist. This time I highlighted uh, Penguin's whole name. Toadate's playlist is next. Theme is winter for my playlist. Yeah, Penguin. I would say to use winter theme, it, it would be sort of obvious based on what kind of what t what time of the year it is to uh, use that kind of playlist. Sometimes uh, there there's people that will throw a curveball for that, but you 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 pretty much submit it however you like. But I just just want you to know that there, that there can be people who will throw a curveball at the type of playlist they would put out there. Just think of Mario Man's, for example. Let's see how well you guys do with the third to last playlist here.
That round is over. I would say those last few songs had quite a lot of obscurity to them. Very, very obscure. Two out of five were guessed correctly, by the way. Let's see how well you guys did on this one. <laughs> Number 36 is the Spiral Madness theme from Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. Points go to Plush, Cage, and Penguin. Number 37 is King Boo from Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games again. The points go to Penguin. Number 38 through 40, all of you didn't get these ones, especially as they sounded very, very obscure. Um, number 38 is a Maiden theme song. The game is called Bad End Theater. Something I've never heard of. Bad End Theater. So Tode is probably going to have to explain that particular game or whatnot, because I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> Made and seen for Bad End Theater, an indie game that came out a few months ago. Just a few months ago. Okay. <laughs> I guess that I guess that is uh, I guess that is what makes it very obscure. Number thirty nine. I would have thought somebody could get a a little bit of this one here. It's the Kitties theme from Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. No. Wait. A bunch of you had. Did a bunch of you have Rhythm Heaven in your mind? I started watching that. Y'all were close with WarioWare. Yeah. Yeah, some of them really were. Penguin didn't say zero gravity. Um, does it matter if he didn't say zero gravity, though? It does matter? Okay, I'll take his name off then. I didn't think uh, it really mattered as much. Zero Gravity has different soundtracks. Okay. Well, thanks for reminding me of that. Uh, number 40. Another very obscure uh, one here. Results theme from Active Life Outdoor Challenge. I don't know where that is from. Uh, it's got to be a uh, a mobile thing. It that's a Wii game. That that that's for Wii. I would have thought that was something somewhat recent. <laughs> Active Life <laughs> Outdoor Challenge. I I I think it's uh, just a cheaper knockoff. I'll bet it's a cheaper knockoff of Wii Fit. <laughs> Has its own pad controller and everything. Wow. You watch uh, uh, Steven plays. Yeah, yeah, that's the name. The sports guy. Never, never heard of that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard it either. Let me guess. Uh, I'll bet Steven plays profiled this one as um, part of his uh, collection of Wii games. As uh, one of the most obscure ones. That could be why uh, Anna is bringing up Steven for that. Yeah. 
But let's go ahead and get the uh, leaderboard updated. Shouldn't be uh, that much here. Anna will stay at 23. Plush will go up to 23 and be tied with Anna. Penguin is going to get three more and go up to uh, uh, 20. Cage will get two more and go up to 18. Toadate will get four more and go up to 19. Everyone else is where they're at. Yeah, it's still practically anyone's game in the uh, top six, practically. We got a tie. So we still 10 songs to go. I'm not even mad that I didn't get zero gravity correct. I kind of figured you have to be specific, right? And yes, K rule, that is correct. I kept forgetting there were multiple Riders games, right? Well, at least you got your uh, correction made in time, K. Rule, so don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and get uh, the penultimate round uh, taken care of.
Okay. We got four out of five guessed correctly, so Cage is going to move up in the standings quite a bit. <laughs> he would have the lead for the moment <laughs> at 26 points. Let's go over these. Number 41 is to Xanark Land from, or to Xanark and from Final Fantasy X. King K. Rule gets the points for that one. Number 42 is the Snowy Mountain Shrine from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Anna gets the points for that one. Number 43 is Let's Play Hockey from Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. The points go to plush for that one. Number 44, this one stumped you. It's, uh, it just says Music 12. The game it's from is Alpine Racer 3, a PS2 era game. And number 45 is the Snowball Battle from Club Penguin Game Day. Anna gets the points for that just at the very last second. I was about to just not give the points to both Anna and Penguin for it because they didn't include Game Day in the title. <clears throat> Thankfully, Anna saved the day. I'm kind of surprised uh, King Penguin himself didn't uh, chime in on that. <laughs> but, oh well. Yeah, K. Rule, kind of surprised you knew Final Fantasy X. I didn't want to bother second guessing. Well, Penguin, the thing is, when you... Whatever, whenever, whatever order you put your answer is, I will still take. I will still take it as one of those correct answers. So even if you say the wrong game first and then put the second in, you're still fine. Or if you put the uh, f the first game in right, I will still give you the points already because it's like I'm already gonna count it like that. So, when you put yourself out for two answers, you at least give yourself a chance to get one of those correct. That's all you gotta do. Oh, K. Rule says, I only knew that because it was in a Top 50 Songs countdown. I'd like to know what that Top 50 is. <laughs> or who made that Top 50. Well, anyways, uh, let me give Cage uh, eight more points. He'll go up to 26. Anna is going to get uh, six more points and go up to 29. Plush will get uh, three more points and go up to 26. Penguin, unfortunately, stays at 20. Toadette stays at 19. And King K. Rule will get uh, three more points and go up to eight. <laughs> but he's practically out of it already. <laughs> it's up to K. Rule's playlist. <laughs> yeah, it sure is up to his playlist. Watch it be an impossible playlist. <laughs> you might be right about that. Let's get the final playlist going now.
that will do it. And I think it's uh, pretty obvious about uh, how the leaderboard is going to shake out on this one. Let's go over all these. Number 46 is Frozen Paradise from Tekken 5. Nobody got that. 47 is Frosty Fruits from Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Anna and Cage got that one. Number 48 is the Tundra Man stage from Mega Man 11. Points go to Anna, Plush, and Kirby. Number 49 is Northeast Frost Street from Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I'm kind of surprised nobody got that one. And number 50 is Rosalina's Ice World from Mario Kart 7. Points go to Anna, Cage, and Plush. In that order. Okay, Rule will get uh, six more points here and go up to 14. That's where he'll end up. Kirby will end up with uh, 15. Toad 8 stays at 19. Penguin stays at 20. Plush uh, gets three more and goes up to 29. Cage will move on up to... Gets four more and goes up to 30. And Anna gets... Uh, Nine more points, it goes up to 38. <laughs> and that's it. Don't know how that was uh, quite a dominating show at the very, very end. But I guess K. Rule's playlist really uh, sealed it right there. <laughs> so this means not only does Anna get... Uh, 10 bucks eShop credit, but also the uh, first choice at a uh, Jackbox game. But we're not going to move to that right away because I kind of want to take a break till the uh, bottom of the hour. So 4.30 Central, I think we'll come back on and we'll get the uh, first session of Jackbox going. We'll play up to uh, five different Jackbox games before we move on to Online Mario Party after that. After Online Mario Party, we will do uh, Fall Guys for one hour. And after that, we will finish it off with 30 minutes of uh, the bob -omb Derby minigame, trying to get a high score in that one. So, hope you guys will look forward to the rest of this uh, stream for all that. Anyways, I say the name of the game that I want to play. Yeah... Well, maybe maybe we should wait till uh, we get back from break or something. Till yeah, and until we get back from break, you can uh, go ahead and say which uh, Jackbox game we should lead off with. Like I said, we'll play up to five Jackbox games. Anyways, guys, I will take a break till uh, four thirty. So I'll be back in twenty minutes. See you later.